Welcome to Part 2, Section 1C, Creating a Registry Alert. In this section, we will create three registry reports and alerts. The first is an annual microalbumin screening for patients 18 years or older who have diabetes. Second, the use of an ACE and ARBs in patients 18 years or older who have diabetes and hypertension. And the third report is for patients 18 years or older with an EGFR of less than 30 who have a nephrology referral in place. Okay, let's begin. The registry alerts will appear in the progress note in the right panel menu under the CDSS tab for patients who meet the appropriate criteria. First, go to the left navigation bar and click the registry button. Click the registry icon. We will run a new registry query for patients 18 years and older who have diabetes and need an annual microalbumin screening. Under the Demographics tab and Age Range, enter 18 and leave the upper limit blank so that we get a query of all patients 18 years and older. Click Run New. A list of patients appears. Go to the ICD tab. From the pull-down menu, select ICD Groups. Then click Select and a new pop-up window appears listing the ICD groups. An ICD group allows the user to query more than one associated ICD code at a time. In order to create a grouping, select New, then enter the codes you wish to include in the group. We have already created a group of all diabetes-related ICD codes under CKD True Diabetes. Now try it. Now, select your ICD group and close the window. Next, select your date range to cover the past year. Click Run Subset. Now we have narrowed our list down to 14 records for patients 18 years and older who have a diabetes-related assessment. Select the Labs DI tab. For labs, click the Select button and a pop-up window will appear to allow you to select the lab of interest, which is microalbumin. We will hi highlight the microalbumin creatinine ratio and click OK to close the window. Make sure the date range matches the dates we selected under the ICD tab, covering the previous year. Also check the box for Ignore Fasting Conditions, since fasting does not alter microalbumin results. Click the Run Subset Not button. This will give us all patients ages 18 years and older with a diabetes-related assessment in the past year that have not had a microalbumin screening in the past year. Now try it. Now that we have run the query, we can save it as a report and a registry alert so that the listed patients may be scheduled for a visit and the provider will be reminded in the progress note screen that the patient needs to be screened. Click Save Queries. A window appears asking if you would like to save queries as a report. Click Yes. A pop-up window appears. Type a name for your report. We'll put Needs Annual Microalbumin Screening. We can associate our previously created flow sheet with the report. From the pull-down menu, select Diabetes Hypertension. You can type the criteria for the report here if you choose. Check the box next to CDSS Enabled. This allows the registry alert to be viewed under the CDSS tab on the right side of the Progress Note screen. The More button allows you to select an order set that you would like to associate with your alert. We can view the report we just created. In the left navigation bar, click the Registry Reports icon. 
Check the box next to Needs Annual Microalbumin Screening. Then click Run Report. An Excel spreadsheet appears with all the patients who fit our criteria. The created flow sheet measures, as well as encounter dates and patient identifiers, are listed across the top. The spreadsheet can be saved to a separate file and printed if needed. In order to protect patient privacy in accordance with HIPAA laws, be sure to save the file in a secure location. Now try it. Now let's view our created registry alert. Open the chart for a patient from the spreadsheet. We will use test test. In the hub, we can access the CDSS tab. Click on the tab and we see the list of registry alerts below. If the alert does not appear, click update to refresh the list. Now try it. For the next registry report and alert, we will run a query for patients 18 years and older with diabetes and hypertension who have not been prescribed an ACE or an ARP. Go to the left navigation bar and click the registry button. Click the registry icon. Under the demographics tab and age range, enter 18 and leave the upper limit blank so that we get a query of all patients 18 years and older. Click run new. A list of patients appears. Go to the ICD tab. From the pull down menu, select ICD groups. Then click Select. We have already created a group of all diabetes-related ICD codes under diabetes with hypertension. Now, select your ICD group and close the window. Next, select your date range to cover the past year. Click Run Subset. Now we have narrowed our list down to patients 18 years and older who have a diabetes and hypertension related assessment. Next, open the tab for structured data. Earlier in the video, we created structured data fields that allow the user to search for data entered into the HPI. Now we can search for patients who have not been placed on an ACE or an ARB based on data we entered in our structured data field. Click the More button to search for the field name. Go to HPI section, Endocrinology category, then Diabetes, and Diabetes again. Then click OK. Highlight the hypertension path that we created earlier. Then click OK. Click the More button to specify the desired field value. Check the box next to with an ACE or an ARB. Then click OK to make your selection. Click the Run Subset Not button to generate a list of patients 18 years and older with diabetes and hypertension who have not been prescribed an ACE or an ARB. Click Save Queries. Enter, start an ACE and ARB for name. Select the Diabetes Hypertension Flow Sheet. Type the criteria that patients with diabetes and hypertension should be prescribed an ACE or an ARB unless there is a contraindication. Check the box for CDSS enabled and select the desired order set to associate with the alert. Click OK and our second registry report and alert have been created. Finally, we will run a registry report and alert for patients ages 18 years and older with a GFR of less than 30 who should be referred to a nephrologist for management and AV fistula placement consideration. Click the registry icon. 
Under the Demographics tab and Age range, enter 18 and leave the upper limit blank so that we get a query of all patients 18 years and older. Click Run New. A list of patients appears. Go to the Labs DI tab. Click the Select button to search for the appropriate lab. We're looking for the GFR rate. And click OK. We would like to trigger the alert for patients with a GFR of less than 30, so we will enter 30 as the upper limit for the GFR attribute. Select the date range for the past year to view the most current patients and check the box next to ignore fasting conditions. Click Run Subset to generate a list of patients 18 years and older with a GFR of less than 30. Go to the Structured Data tab. Again, go to the Structured Data fields we created earlier in this video. Click the More button to search for the field name. Go to HPI section and then to the Endocrinology category. Then Diabetes and Diabetes again and click OK. Highlight the Nephrology referral path that we created earlier. Then click OK. Click the More button to specify the desired field value. Check the box next to Has not been given. Then click OK to make your selection. Click the Run Subset button to generate a list of patients 18 years and older with a GFR of less than 30 who have not been referred to a nephrologist. Click Save Queries. Enter Refer to Nephrology for name. Select the Diabetes Hypertension Flow Sheet. Type the criteria that patients with a GFR of less than 30 should be referred to a nephrologist for further management. Check the box for CDSS enabled and select the desired order set to associate with the alert. Click OK and our third and final CKD registry report and alert have been created. Refer back to the creation of the microalbumin registry for details on how to view the report and alerts. This concludes part two, section 1C, creating a registry alert. IPRO offers a variety of services that can assist you further. We can work with you on site to help you use eClinical Works to implement quality improvement plans. We offer educational symposiums featuring clinical champions and provide referrals to helpful resources. IPRO can analyze data collected through eClinical Works to measure your performance on quality measures. We also offer consultations on meaningful use and medical home recognition applications. If you have any questions or comments on this section or would like more information on iPro services, please contact us.